We think that sustainable marine biofuels should be part of the future fuel mix. It's not the only option, but it should be part of uh, a set of options. The inspiration of starting with this, this product that we, as Boscalis, believe that by uh, creating a biofuel for the shipping industry based on sustainable feedstock, we can start with a new market segment that wasn't there. We can't make this market alone. Uh, and this is why we are so glad with the great support we're getting from Boscalis and Wachila. We need this launching customer. But we also need the ports to provide the right incentives and to help us with finding the right clients and to help us in getting the supply chains in place. As Port of Rotterdam, we want to be a front runner in the development of the bio-based industry. And why? The Port of Rotterdam is home to a very large industrial cluster and already home to the largest renewable industrial cluster in the world. Sufficient volumes of feedstocks that meet all the necessary sustainability criteria, but also are affordable is a huge challenge. As Ministry of Infrastructure and Environment, we are also a target-setting uh, body as we set the standards. Well, we recently uh, bunkered uh, Willem van Oranje with the first uh, load of uh, biofuel, and that was uh, reasonably successful. It's still a pilot because we have to prove that it's workable and scalable and sustainable. We started with an, uh, a B30 blend on board of this vessel. It gives us the hope and the trust that we can scale it up to a B50 in the near future. Uh, we have a lot of experience of running on biofuel, also much more challenging biofuels. So our very short expectation is simply to prove that these fuels work. Uh, innovation is the key issue and that's what, uh, what has driven our company at the moment. Uh, we contribute to a more sustainable uh, environment and that's one of our uh, goals in the future, to establish projects in a more environmentally friendly way. So what are we testing at this moment? We are testing three different biofuels of three different grades. One is, shall we say, more easy, more light fuel oil, like, and the two other ones are becoming slightly more challenging. This project is not only for Boscalis, it's a project for the maritime industry in a global way. And at the end, if we can use a waste product and we can turn it into a new source of energy, I think that will be the success of the bio-dropping fuel. This second generation uh, HVO, yeah, it's, it's scary, but uh, according to the contracts, it only has uh, advantages. Uh, I can name all the advantages, but you, you can do your homework and read it. But uh, they claim a 50 to 90% CO2 reduction. Why now? Yeah, because uh, the possibilities are there and the uh, technology is available, so why not? We need more sustainable energy, and that is something that can become a customer demand. At Goodfields, we recognize it's very hard to make real sustainable biofuels. As a solution, we have implemented an independent sustainability committee to make sure we're always working according to the latest and most strict sustainability criteria. The Sustainability Committee has the proof of the sustainability aspects of all the products we sell or develop. Good Energy has a wonderful corporate goal, to help the marine shipping industry to convert from using some of the most polluting transportation fuels to sustainable marine biofuel. We can only succeed when it's truly sustainable. And we would like to have a global standard for that, such as the Roundtable of Sustainable Materials Standard. But that's not presently yet there. And that's why it's important that this initiative has installed a sustainability board to look critically at all these new processes and products and technologies to see whether really all aspects of sustainability are taken on board. We're happy to work together with Good Fuels and other partners to make solutions become a reality. This topic is getting more and more important for our clients, not only shipping clients, but also the clients of the shipping clients. Currently, biofuel technology is getting so sophisticated that it can make high quality fuels from very low uh, value waste streams. We absolutely need a transition from fossil 
to more alternative fuels in all the transport modes if we are to reach the 60% emission reduction targets for the long run. Um, in order to be able to do so, we need more innovations in the market to make those uh, innovative leaps cost effective. And this is of course where we have a tremendous economic opportunity. A lot of the feedstock that's currently being burned today as so-called green electricity, we can actually upgrade to marine biofuel. It needs to transport itself in order to make a shift in that market itself with the partners from that market. And we must also realize that in that process of doing it, it, it also has to present a business case somewhere down the line. It, it's a whole chain uh, of suppliers, of mechanism, which have to be made available in order to be able to use it worldwide. So it's not only the technique itself, but it's also the logistics uh, behind it. It's clear to all of us that we, the world needs more energy uh, efficient and sustainable solution. And uh, at sea, the growth has been roughly 3% per annum. And uh, we think that will continue also in the future. We all need to take care of, of the health of our planet. In the handling of cargo, uh, the, the percentage of biofuels will grow. That can be scaled up enormously. And if it's, let's say, up to 10% of the existing fuel handlings we do right now, then you're speaking about 4 million tons uh, for the port of Amsterdam. In 2030, our bets are that 5% of the total marine fuel consumption is going to be marine biofuel. Bio-based economy provides a tremendous opportunity for the Netherlands in terms of greenification of our mostly fossil-based economy. Aviation as well as marine are sectors that cannot do without liquid biofuels. Our vision is to go to full-scale biorefineries to produce lignin and sugars. We think marine biofuels made from lignin are complementary to the chemicals made for the chemical industry. Steeper Energy sees the heavy transport sector, including marine propulsion, as the best opportunity for advanced biofuels. Our proven hydrofaction process converts biomass to renewable fuel oil. With minimal upgrading, hydrofaction oil can be used directly as marine distillate. We are working with global leaders like Good NRG to produce large volumes of renewable marine fuel. Of course they want to have economic success, but the real thing is, is to move to a slightly better, more cleaner world. And this is where we are going for it.